Hey guys, Chandler here, back on my channel, Alternate Journey, and today I am here with you guys talking about microdosing testosterone and its effects. Before we dive right in with all the information, I would like to just address some disclaimers. You do not have to be non-binary in order to microdose testosterone. And if you are a non-binary, your only option isn't just to microdose. You can go on the regular uh, hormone replacement therapy uh, journey where you're going to increase your shot and do the normal trans path. Many doctors actually suggest um, whether you are non-binary or a trans man to microdose at first so your body will experience of a more natural puberty. So it depends on your doctor and also what you think is right for your body as well. So what is microdosing? Microdosing is defined as the action or practice of taking very small amounts of a certain drug in order to test or benefit from its physiological action while minimizing undesirable side effects. Unfortunately, you cannot pick and choose what side effects you will experience when you are microdosing testosterone. However, though, taking lower doses of testosterone will make the physical changes very slight and happen gradually. So. That being said, you'll experience the most common side effects that any individual uh, experiences when they undergo uh, hormone replacement therapy with testosterone. You're going to definitely experience acne and oily skin, you're going to experience fat redistribution, and also you're going to experience uh, muscle mass, so you're definitely going to get, you're going to notice that your shoulders are going to get broader because of those two things. Um, hopefully your waist isn't that much of an issue anymore because um, mainly a lot of people get dysphoric with that because like that really defines your body into a woman's body but some side effects that are going to be permanent changes meaning that if you do decide that testosterone is not the right path for you and you stop using testosterone depending on your genetics and how your body reacts to taking testosterone certain things will happen at different times for you and it depends on how long you have been microdosing testosterone to have these side effects, but the permanent changes are bottom growth, uh, aka clitoral growth, facial hair, and deepening of the voice. Those are the three main side effects that you will experience when undergoing microdosing testosterone. In fact, bottom growth is probably the first thing that you will definitely notice. Facial hair is not too much of a problem. You're just going to have to shave. Um, depending on like how long you've been on testosterone, especially since you're microdosing testosterone, it's not going to be that noticeable. You're just going to notice that your peach fuzz is either a little bit darker, it's just longer, or um, grows a little bit faster. And then deepening of the voice, so you're going to have more of an androgynous voice in the end, which is something that most individuals with microdosing testosterone want. So that being said, a normal shot of testosterone is usually administered every week. A microdosing testosterone, if you are doing shots, is a shot usually every three weeks. Um, usually 0.25 milliliters or 0.2 milliliters, depending on your doctor and what they want to do. You plan on doing injections when microdosing, definitely write on your calendar because the thing is, is like, yes, you would want to do every week so you just don't forget because like that's ideal. Um, but you're not just, you don't want to just shoot yourself with 0.125 because like that's a very tiny amount and it's like, it's really nothing to really do a shot of because like literally you draw it out, you stick the needle in and you're like only put like a few drops of testosterone in your body. So it's like you might as well, if you want a consistent schedule so you do not forget, I highly suggest going on patches or gels. Patches, I've heard um, a lot of people get rashes with these though. Uh, you can usually put it on your stomach, thigh, and I believe some on your arm, depending on the brand. And then with gels and creams, you rub on your chest, and then some people also said your forearm. Again, read the directions. I, I don't know because I have never gone on testosterone patches or gels. Definitely just talk to your doctor about the side effects of those, uh, whether or not you have sensitive skin. The thing is, is like a lot of doctors, they suggest injections because the skin can only absorb so much. And that's why they highly suggest injections because you are injecting the testosterone right into the muscle for your body to quickly process it. But that's why with gels, creams, and patches, you do it every day because the skin can only process so much. And that's why you do it every day so your body is still processing the testosterone. So it really doesn't really matter. It just depends on your body and what your body likes and also what you think 
will be most beneficial for you, for your own like scheduling and like mindset. So for my journey of testosterone, my doctor started me off with microdosing. Uh, so I could have a more natural puberty, but also it was just to decrease the risk of getting extremely negative side effects. If you guys are ever wondering, uh, the dark side of testosterone, I did actually make a video of this like so many months ago. I'll link that down in the description, also put it in the end screen if that link does not work. When I first started testosterone, July 10th, uh, 2019, all my dosage was 200 milligrams per milliliter. So that's the strength the testosterone I'm taking. I started off with 0.2 uh, milliliters every three weeks. So I did that for five months being on T. So all of my update videos up to five months, I was pretty much microdosing. So if you want to know basically the side effects and how it happened for me on microdosing, that was pretty much me microdosing. But I didn't really say it was microdosing because I didn't really know it was technically microdosing. I knew it was like a small amount and it was just very gradual, which that, that's the fucking definition of microdosing. Why did I know that? But it's just like I didn't really want to coin it as microdosing because like it was my own testosterone journey. And when you say microdosing, everyone just thinks like, oh, so you're doing the non-binary transition, which is bullshit. No, I'm doing my own transition. I'm just doing a more gradual tr transition for myself, my body. After five months on T, I went on 0.25 every two weeks. That went really good. The thing is, I, and then that was gonna be like my plan for my doctors, but then when I saw my hormone doctor, I wanted to change it to every week because I had some negative side effects with uh, low having low testosterone levels. So basically, you do the spike of doing your shot, but then it's like two weeks until you do your next shot, and then it was just up and then down, and like it was like kind of like an emotional roller coaster for me. I had side effects of having low T, which is basically irritability, mood swings, kind of depression, and everything, not really wanting to do anything. So I talked to my doctor, and for about two and a half months now, I've been doing 0.25 every week, which has been amazing, definitely a lot better mentally and physically for myself just having a shot every wednesday is freaking amazing so yeah definitely just always talk to your doctor about like certain things that, that you want and then they can guide you with a plan that will work for you for your own hormone replacement therapy journey in conclusion microdosing gives you a sense of control you can't control everything of what's going to happen to your body when you undergo testosterone when you know that you want to go on testosterone, you do all this research, it's basically you're just jumping off the ledge and free falling. You're like, I know I need to do this, I don't know what exactly is gonna happen. That's how like I explain it to myself, free fall and just be like, you know, we may come out ugly from this, but you know what, it's fucking worth it because it has helped with dysphoria so much. And just know that you can stop anytime. A lot of individuals stop taking testosterone because they do not like certain side effects and everything, but I've actually read a lot of stories of many non-binary individuals when I was doing this research that they stopped taking testosterone whether because it was financial reasonings or they just thought like it wasn't right for them. After a few months or so, they realized like taking that small amount of testosterone actually helped them a lot with their dysphoria and then they go back on tea. So it's just like, you always have to take the good with the bad. Like, yes, there's going to be some side effects of testosterone that you may not want. Like, maybe it's facial hair for you, or maybe it's the bottom growth, or maybe it's, like, extreme acne. But remember, the acne thing, that's not going to be, like, 24 fucking 7. Like, you can get some medication to help you out. And also, it's once your body's used to taking testosterone, it will balance out. It's just, it's... You get major acne problems because of the spike of imbalanced hormones because your body's not used to having so much testosterone in you, even when you're microdosing. Then you do that first shot or you do the patches and gel on a microdose level, it's still a little more testosterone than your body's used to. So that's why that happens. So yeah, you can always stop taking tea. You can always go back on it if you know that it is the right decision for you. Everyone's journey is different and there is no right path to be non-binary or trans. You only have to take the path that makes sense to you in your life. Although microdosing can be used as like a test run for hormone replacement therapy, please understand that there can still be negative side effects 
while undergoing testosterone and definitely will be some permanent changes. All right, so that's all I have for you guys based on this topic. I hope some of this information was helpful. If you would like a, a more detailed video about this, please comment down below. Um, also, please comment down below any other educational videos about testosterone, gender, or any other aspects of transitioning that you would like to see from me. So yeah, please like, comment, and definitely subscribe if you are new. Don't forget to also click below that little bell so you get notifications whenever I post a video. That is if YouTube actually decides to give you the notification. I make videos whenever I can, but you can always expect important updates on my transition. Alright, see you guys.